Well, this is my project for this week. Got an 06 Mitsubishi Outlander with a rusted out subframe. This actually pulled out. That's where the A arm attaches. It's actually pulled out while he was driving. Uh, lucky he didn't get in an accident. You know, kind of spun the car around because once it breaks loose, the tire usually shifts back up against the fender well, like it did here, and it locks the wheel up. So, I had to get a new subframe, and I found one in Rancho Cordoba, California. Looks like West Coast metal, huh? This thing is like brand new. There's no rest on it anywhere. Really nice. 100 bucks plus shipping. Hard to beat. So I'm going to get the stabilizer bar off this one. Transport to the trans plant to the new one. And try to get this project on the road. The trick to getting these out of there, the one thing that uh, that you really need to do is leave the steering rack in the car. Uh, steering rack attaches here and here. And uh, it's a lot more work to tear all that stuff apart to drop the steering rack with the subframe. If you leave the steering rack in, it's the way to go. The problem I had with this one was this motor mount attaches right over top of where the steering rack is also bolted on. So you have to get this off first before you can get to these. Getting these bolts out when the subframe is in there uh, is not easy. Some of them you can get from above, uh, down behind the engine. Along the firewall, use a long extension. You can get down and get some of these bolts out. So, uh, I got some helpers coming. Get this one ready to put on. Doesn't need any prep work. I thought I have to uh, clean up the threads or inside there, but you know what? I don't think it needs anything. I think we can go ahead and. Uh, Get this thing up there and get it installed. The steering rack on the passenger side has to be held up by something or else it'll drop down. I just used a broomstick, ran it all the way across. Use a piece of wire to hold it up. So you don't want that to drop down. You want to try to keep it up as high as you can. So that's our project for today. Uh, it's been a big one. Hasn't been easy. You just have to decide whether or not the car is worth saving or not. This one actually doesn't have much rust on it. It's really in pretty nice shape. So. We decided to try to save it. I'll let you know how it goes. Remove some of the intake stuff so we can get down in here because that's where the steering rack is bolted into the subframe. And that motor mount right there, that bracket, has to come out in order to access the steering rack bolt on the driver's side. It's got four bolts in it, not easy to get to, but that definitely has to come out to get to access the other two bolts. See the tight squeeze in here. There's the other steering rack bolt back here, you can see it. 
Some of them had to come out with a wrench. That's the only way we could get to them. But hey, do what you got to do. Get everything back in. Uh, not an easier, simple job. It's uh, sure hope it's worth it. Well, it took three of us to maneuver this thing around to get it in there, but the subframe is in. Got most of everything hooked up. And just got to do the exhaust. We're going to crank this baby up and see if it's going to run.